All right, welcome everybody. Pretty exciting day today. And on behalf of my fellow co-president, John Santos, where are you, John, raise your hand. He's in the back there somewhere. And the Board of Trustees for the Rosalind Landmark Society, we welcome you. And we're very excited. We have some of the very important people who've been involved in this project in this group today, including our Nassau County Executive, Bruce Blakeman. It's wonderful to have you here. Uh, earlier this month, uh, Jennifer Lister, the Executive Director of the Roswell Landmark Society, and I met with the County Executive, and we were very excited how involved he was with the project. And if you, and County Executive has been involved for many years. If you look in the back there, you see his name as the presiding officer on the restoration of the Gristville. So without further ado, here is our County Executive, Bruce Blackman. The emphasis on breeze. As a former town historian, you never breathe, but I'm going to try. So after three and a half years, the first phase of the restoration of Robin Gristmill has been completed, as Jennifer has said. We're very excited about it. They say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes a great community to raise and lower a gristmill. You know? And it includes the federal government, the county, the town, the village, trust, foundations, sponsors, and Long Island residents. Many of the people responsible for today's success are here today. And I want to recognize them first. First, Dr. Robert Mackay, and we continue to have to, to really promote their legacy and their contributions to the beautiful historic village of Roswell. We also want to recognize New York State Regional Economic Council, which have awarded three $500,000 grants. I want to introduce uh, and, and recognize my wonderful wife, Raj Crowley. <laughs> Raj and her husband last year created the very successful Million Dollar Match, which raised $1.6 million for the Grissom. Kathy Curran, Executive Director of the Robert David Lyon Gardner Foundation, helped with that million dollar match. She's a wonderful supporter of the project. Uh, Mayor John Durkins uh, here today, and the, the mayor will be uh, some brief words. Uh, he sponsors an annual Robin Bristol dinner at his wonderful restaurant. And uh, Congressman Tom Swazi, uh, I don't know if he, he's going to make it a little bit later here today, but one of the last things that Congressman Swazi did and the county executive was community grant, which, again, is going to be very helpful to finish this project. And most recently, we received a very generous gift from the seventh generation of John Robinson. Who's John Robinson? He was the first person to build a grist mill at this site sometime between 1701 and 1709 did a site visit here, and he said, he was so impressed, he says, I want to contribute to this. And uh, he's anonymous now, but he gave a very significant gift too, which was Chris Mill. Mill. And we're very pleased to have uh, the town supervisor at the Senate here today. <laughs> also, we have Alex Wolf, Executive Director of Preservation Long Island. They designated this as an endangered building years ago, and we, we, it's no longer in danger. As, as the county executive says, we, we have been getting the funding, we've been getting the support, and we're really excited about that as well. So in conclusion, in our meeting earlier this month with the county executive, he challenged us to say, can you get the major part of the restoration done by 2024, which is the 125th anniversary of the founding of Nassau County. And interesting enough, the person in the 1880s who was the advocate for the forming of Nassau County was Benjamin D. Hicks, who owned the Grissom. So we're linked, the foundation, the creation of Nassau County, and the Rosalind Grissom. So, thank you very much. Can we get everybody up for the other speakers here for a group of 
Thank you very again. Um, Well, it's going to get done. It's going to get done. Oh,